So tonight we're going to do a little exploration of a gold mine. Well, I guess it's really more like a mill right here. This looks like it was probably in operation many, many years ago. It was partially dismantled. Now, I rolled into here just about dark, so I didn't get a, a good chance to really look around. But I want to do it, and we're going to have to do it tonight because I have to roll out of here before the sun rises to meet my uh, friend and go uh, nugget shooting or nugget hunting in the morning. So, you ready? I think it's going to be pretty cool. Maybe a little scary, actually, because it looks like bad things might have happened here. And we're in the middle of nowhere. I mean, there are no houses around. It's, like, really kind of creepy. Ooh, I smell a polecat. A skunk or something. Hopefully it's not a pack of javelinas coming to get us. But let's check this thing out first. I noticed this coming in, and I have no idea what it does or did. There's like a big pipe going across the road and going back down. I don't know what that is. Uh, but there's like a tank up here. And some big gears and things. Need to be very careful we don't step on any rattlesnakes. <laughs> that is so cool. Look at that. Oh man. I hope there's nothing alive down there. It must be like a cistern or something. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. It actually kind of smells like death. It's like somebody sprinkled lime in there. I wonder if there's like dead bodies in there or something. Those are like roots from uh, trees or cactuses or something. I guess it was a water catchment. But it's got some big gears and stuff on it. Oh, watch out for that. I oh, don't want something reaching up and grabbing our leg and pulling us in that little hole. That would ruin our night, wouldn't it? But you can tell this is old. Look at those gears. Look at that. That is cool. There's a lot of big holes around here. Everyone's been digging those. Some type of creature, I'm sure. Okay. It is really, uh... Actually kind of spooky out here because I'm of course by myself And it would probably take me half the night just to walk out of here if I had to maybe even longer <laughs> A lot longer apparently because I can barely walk My footsteps sound so loud out here Oh looky Look at that <laughs> you know that there's got to be something, something up in there, alive or dead. I have a little shed here, I'm not sure what this was for. Looks like it probably had a big uh, wheel or something on it, some type of gear or, uh, that's lead isn't it? Yeah, it's probably some type of axle type thing rolled in there. This is a gold uh, processing plant. Because we're going to go up inside of it here in a minute and look at it. Is there any way to get up there? Is there any way? Let's go over here. And bullet holes in it. Look at all the bullet holes. I hope that was just for water, not to keep something else in. Steps going up to it. Watch oh, your step. Wow, look at that. I wonder what that is. Watch my step. Wouldn't it be really neat if all of a sudden we heard a groaning noise and the machinery started up? started turning on its own. Not sure what that's all about. I heard something. 
thought it was machinery groaning and starting up. <laughs> I think it was just a burrow in the hills. A jackass. That's what you call burrows, by the way. It's an ass, as in a beast of burden, like from the Bible, and a jack, which is a male. A jill is a female. So it's a jackass is a male burrow, and a jill ass, <laughs> never heard that term, would be a female burrow. So when you say jackass, there's really nothing wrong with that. It's a true... Definitely heard metal singing. Did you hear that? I guess something in this thing. I'm hoping it's just pack rats. Let's look. You ready? I hope no faces are looking up at us. Ooh, that's kind of, that kind of scared me. I saw the shiny stuff down there. No, oh, that's rifle casings and beer cans. Some type of hopper. Another one, look at that big giant belt right there. That would have run um, big wheels, flywheels. There's another one over here. This is probably where they dumped the bodies in this one. We're not gonna look in that one though. Cause I did hear uh, metal moving. Starting back up. Surprised there's no snakes or rats or anything in here. Maybe something's eating everything. And they're still hungry for humans. Man, I'd love to have seen this place in operation. What is that thing? <laughs> look at a giant black snake. We'll look at that when we go over there. More bullet holes. It's like a giant muffler, doesn't it? I wonder if it is. Nah, it's gotta be a water storage or something. Man, look at that. Do we dare go up there? Well, at least we know nothing's gonna grab us as we go up the steps, because we can see. Is that that's a bee but I think we want to move along here that's probably a some type of Africanized honeybee nest Ooh, let's keep moving <laughs> they are actually no joke I mean my hair is standing up on the back of my neck right now because when they attack they attack in swarms and they could be thousands and they sting and sting and sting and they can kill you well i die because there's no one around to help me i mean i'd lay here until someone came by in a week a month who knows Whew. should we look again because that was really weird i can hear it stop moving Let's take one more quick peek. Honeybees don't normally fly at night like that. Listen, there's something up there. I gotta see what this is all about. I'm very curious about this. Ah, shit, it's coming at me. <laughs> yeah, they're in the uh, rock wall there. Ah, he's coming at me, okay. I'm gonna move along now. Ooh, jeez, man, <laughs> wow, look at that, I go from one terrifying, oh, look at that, one, what is that, I almost fell over, one terrifying thing to another. I really thought I was going to get swarmed that time. That bee is still buzzing. He followed me up the steps. I can, hear, I can hear a faint humming too. Like there's a thousand of them in that wall. Look at this place. I 
No telling what's up. Jeez, that's leather right there. Look for creatures, any creatures looking at us. Beer cans all the way up here. That's kind of spooky, isn't it? She almost fell over. Man, this is a weird. What is that thing? It's like alien hair. <laughs> that alien hair. Not sure what that is. Oh, that's that belt. Look at that. That thing's mammoth. It's a giant rubber belt. That would have run the plant. Probably had a big diesel generator here. Now we don't fall over there. Yeah, look. Would have been like a big wheel down there, big generator probably. Screaming with power. Yeah, there's a big pulley up there. That would have run the plant. Should we go up there? Uh, let's see how we can get up there. I think they would have steps up there, don't you? See any steps? I don't see any steps. God, there's nothing looking at us. Well, at least that we can see. I guess if we can't see it, it doesn't matter. This must have been extremely noisy when it was running. Because it would have been filling the hoppers with rocks and dirt and tumbling them around. Jeez. There's not a bunch of things up here. <laughs> Look. See anything? It's like a big flat area. Probably where they loaded the hoppers. Ooh, nice breeze up here. Ah, oh, look at this baby. Kind of dangerous here though, so we gotta be careful. There's some more steps. Going up to the machinery, look at all the big cogs. Oh, there's the trommel. What they would have done is they would have filled that with rocks and dirt, and the thing would have spun around like a big tumbler or washing machine, going blah 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 blah, making a screaming noise of rocks pounding on the side, and the dirt, the small little pieces would have fallen out with a gold inside down onto another conveyor to be processed. And that rocks would roll out the end into a big pile that they would haul away. But if there was a rock with a giant piece of gold in it, or a giant piece of gold itself, it wouldn't make fall through those holes, and it would tumble out the end with all the waste rocks, and they take it out and dump it in a pile. That's one of the things we look for with our metal detectors now, because they miss those. They just went away into the trash. So we go and look for those. Let's explore some more. I'm not sure if we should step on those or not. What do you think? Because if we fall, there is no rescue. Yeah, let's do it. All right. <laughs> this is probably the stupidest thing I've done in a long time. Besides, come on here by myself. Hopefully, there's no rattlesnakes in here. Let's look before we leave. See any rattlesnakes? All right, we're gonna leap. Come on. Bags caught in the thing. Jeez. It's a giant. Camera bag. It's caught. There we go. I 
could be a disaster. Yeah, that's not very sturdy. I think this will hold us. Yeah, we're up. All right, camera bag back. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Where do these steps go? Big pulleys. Look at that dodge with the belt hooks around the big black belt that was hanging down. I think it will hold us down there. Let's go check it out. Well, they found my camera. I hope they show it to you guys. So you can see how the chig went. Yeah, that's the uh, trauma right there. Let's take a closer look at that. I'll explain to you a little more about it. Watch my step. Yeah, see, they would fill this thing up with uh, gravel and rocks and it would rotate. And anything smaller than those holes in that screen would come out. And it would fall down onto a conveyor belt that would run along here. And that's where the gold would be in there to process it. I'm not sure how they processed it here, but they probably had a wet plant since there's water here. But if the rock was bigger, or the gold nugget was bigger than that screen, it went out with the rocks and it got piled up somewhere. And that happened a lot in the old days. Shall we? That feels pretty sturdy. <laughs> they cut off the railings for some reason. That's kind of weird. I think they were left those. That's dirty. Watch your step. And watch your mind. Look at that. She <laughs> scared me. Wow, that's beautiful. All right, we're gonna crank up the light to maximum voltage and we're gonna see what's out here okay you ready Let's turn it off we're gonna double tap wow look at that that's what we should have done the whole time that's that shed we started in that's a giant belt that's that tumbler cactus look at that See the eyeballs looking at us? <laughs> Man, that would tear you up if you fell down through there. And you know what? I actually brought my other flashlight with a giant spotlight. This is the, um, this is that flutter light I have from uh, Through Night. They sponsor my channel. It's the uh, TN36, I believe. I really love this light, it's probably my favorite. But let's check out the other one while we're up here. See what's over there in those hills. See if we can see any chupacabras. We have to be in the darkness for just a minute, okay? Just hold on until I get the other light ready. It's gonna take me a minute. Okay, ready? Double tap this bad boy, you ready? Let's do it. Just do it. Let's see what's out there. Look at that. Yeah, I think we'd see anything if there was out there. Any critters coming to get us. Heard something screaming. Look, you can see way up there. Look all the pollen in the air. See the beam? Look. <laughs> it's kind of cool. <laughs> I really thought there'd be some uh, animals out there watching us, waiting for us to lay down and go to sleep. But I don't see any eyeballs looking at us. Appreciate you joining me on this nighttime adventure. <laughs> I won't be able to see for like three hours. <laughs>